So this is um, Unit 17, Psychology of Sports Performance, Assignment 1, Performance Effect of Personality and Motivation. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is personality and its effect on sports performance. Um, first of all, what is uh, personality? Um, personality is basically a way a person acts, um, which gives them their unique qualities and it makes them who they are um, so you have uh, introverts and extroverts that's their like personality types um, which an introvert is someone who's quite laid back he's quite um, you know they keep themselves to themselves and <coughs> you know they they're sort of you know, keep everything in and they're quiet, um, whereas an extrovert sort of, you know, he likes to be, he, he speaks well and, um, you know, they're quite loud and they can be, uh, you know, they sort of a more outgoing person. Um, so, for example, uh, a sports performer, so uh, an extrovert, so someone who's loud, um, and he likes to talk would probably be a good uh, good captain of a football team so because they're loud they can speak to the players they can you know give commands to their players like give orders to the players so they would be more suited to be like a football captain um, and they would probably shine through and probably be a better captain than someone who would be more introverted, so more, someone more quiet. Uh, if someone was quiet, then um, they probably wouldn't be as good of a football captain because, you know, they may not have the confidence or they may not, you know, feel like they can talk to the players. So they would be less of a good captain. Um, also... Uh, introverts, extroverts, um, you know, they might be more, um, they might be more, um, you know, aggressive and stuff like that. For example, we've got, you know, the type A and type B um, personality types. So type A would be um, probably the extroverted type, you know, so, you know, they react to things, um, they can be quite competitive, you know, uh, you know, they can be really motivated and well driven, um, they can be like quite verbally aggressive and they might, you know, want to say what they feel, for example, in a football match, um, you may have someone on the receiving end of a tackle you know, someone who's extroverted or a type A, um, they will shout out to the ref, they will start, you know, not swearing at the ref. Well, they might swear at the ref, they might, you know, have a have a go at the ref. Whereas a type B would be more relaxed. Um, they wouldn't shout at the ref, they would just let the game carry on. Um, they'd probably be more relaxed. So... A type A would probably be more suited to a team game than a type B person because in team sports you have to talk a lot more um, and in an individual sport you don't really have to talk to people because you've got you no know, like teammates to talk to you. So, so a type A would probably be um, someone like Eric Cantona. Um, so he was quite an uh, aggressive footballer. Um, I think he got sent off once or substituted. Or um, someone said something to him in the crowd and he jumped over the fences and kicked the person, um, which got him a ban. And, you know, he lashed out, basically. Um, so uh, quite a few footballers can lash out at people. Um, because of the adrenaline running in their body and um, because of the way they are, their personality. Um, so, 
the personality between Eric Cantona and say someone like me, um, I would say I'm quite introverted and um, I'm probably a type type B person because I am quite relaxed. You know, um, sometimes when it comes to football games, I can be fairly aggressive, but not too aggressive. You know, if you know if the referee gives a foul against me, then I'll just take it on the chin, um, rather than you know shouting about it. Um, but obviously, because say an, an elite athlete would um, be more. Uh, an elite athlete would be more, you know, fired up because they're playing for money, they're playing for pride, and stuff like that. So when they've got all them things on their mind, they'll just be, you know, sometimes it can get the best of them, and then, um, you know, they can, you know, lose their mind a bit because, you know, they want to win because of certain reasons. Whereas me, I'm just playing a football match, you know, on a Wednesday. Um, not really that serious uh if we win or lose if we win that's good if we lose then obviously it's not a massive loss it's not like it's not like we've lost in the cup final obviously that would be devastating but you know there's a difference between the elites versus a person like me so like obviously they want to win i mean yeah i like to win but at the level that I play at and the level I perform at, it's not that important at the moment. Um, I would say I'm not really an athlete because I don't really, you know, I play football twice a week for a college team. Um, some people might say that is, but I don't really inspire to be a footballer. Um, obviously, I like to play, but I don't really have a, um, I don't really want to be a footballer just because it doesn't really appeal to me also I feel like I'm not good enough to be a footballer so I mean I gave up years ago but I still play because I, I enjoy it but I don't really want to go through all this vigorous training and stuff like that just to become a footballer um, but you've got um, you've got the two different personality types and you've got the two different um, uh, like individual and team sport players so uh, for example Andy Murray he's a tennis player and sometimes he can get quite aggressive um, so when things aren't going his way he will like shout at himself and stuff like that um, so he'd be more of a type A player type A personality type whereas someone like um, Jessica Rennes she's more of She's um, a hep heptathlete, and uh, she's more, you know, she's more uh, introverted or a type B person. Um, she's quite relaxed, and she doesn't really get mad at herself if she loses. Um, but also, you've got, as I come back to Eric Cantona, he's a team player, and he's quite um, fiery. Same with Mar Mario Balotelli. He's, um, I reckon, he would be put in the uh, type A category because you know he reacts to things in football um, and stuff like that and then you have a, another team player say like um, Johnny Wilkinson you know he was quite he was probably say a type B because he was like relaxed um, you know he wasn't as anxious as a type A person would be he didn't you know he didn't flare up when um, something was going wrong um, so the different theories of personality is um, so we've got like your uh, the psychodynamic theory um, so you've got the ID which is um, that's basically the uh, that's um, so stuff that happens because the way your personality reacts to something that's happening. Um, say if I'm playing a really good football match, um, 
I might think, oh yeah, I'm playing really good. I can, you know, I can do anything, you know. Um, but and then you've got your ego, which is like um, the conflict between the ID and the super ego. Um, so yeah, I might feel good about playing really well, but I've got to remember that there are other people on my team and I can't have the ball all the time, you know. So if I'm scoring all the goals, you know, I've got to think, oh wait, I'm playing as a team here. I'm not playing just for me, I'm playing as a team. So I'll start to pass it a lot more. And um, and then, yeah, that's where the super ego comes in. So again, as I said, I'll start to pass more. I won't just hog the ball all the time. And uh, because that's not, you know, the point of the football match is obviously, yeah, to win games. But, you know, games aren't just won by one person. They're won by a whole team. So if I pass the ball to the team more, if I'm more of a team player, they'll return the favour, they'll pass the ball to me more and we'll get a better connection, better bond, um, rather than if I just hug the ball all the time because I thought I was playing so well. You know, that will, in effect, bring my level down because if I hug the ball all the time, people are going to be like, oh, I'm not going to pass to him because he hugs the ball. And, yeah. So, um... Obviously, the different uh, personality theories affects the sports performance because of the way something's going and the way the person thinks. So it changes their performance. Um, so if they think that they're doing well, you know, they know that they're doing well, but they're, uh, you know, their conscious conscience, and will think, oh wait, I've got a you know, control myself, I've got to actually think of what's happening, um, rather than just, you know, firing, like, just keep going at what they're doing, for example, like, as I said, a footballer, you know, might think they, you know, if they're scoring a lot of goals in the match, you know, if they think they can score from 50 yards, then, you know, they might think that because they're playing so well, but they might not, so they might not pass because they're playing so well. But they think, oh, I've got to pass because it's a team game and they've got to be realistic.